Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm TechFanek and I from AndroidRoots.com back here with a Xylon ROM review for your Nexus 4 device. And now this is um, work for Nexus 4. There's only one type, so it's going to work for your device as long as you have Clockermod Recovery installed. Um, if you don't, just go ahead and search on my channel and you can uh, easily install Clockermod Recovery and get this custom ROM onto your Nexus 4 device. So first of all, let's go into settings all the way d down to about phone. And we'll go ahead and you're running the latest version, Android 4.2.2. Yeah! So you're running on the latest version and you do have Xylon right here. Let's go ahead and tap it and you do have Xylon right there, you know, 4.2.2. Jelly bean. Woo! <laughs> so it's going to back up. And in here is where you're going to be doing a lot of your things, a lot of customization features, uh, all in settings, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and first of all, let's go into lock screen which is really nice. And one feature I did like in here is background. So you can actually change the color or the image or you know whatever of your lock screen wallpaper. So you have options to do color fill so you can do a solid color for your whole lock screen. Custom image from your image you know folder. Uh, full transparency so that's full transparent or default wallpaper. One thing I want to show you for full transparent which I like it's pretty cool but it matters what applications you have running uh, behind the lock screen. Um, it gives you what's behind the actual lock screen, which is pretty cool. So if you do go to our home screen and press the lock screen and oh, turn on, you can see your home screen, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, I like it, but it doesn't matter if you're maybe on your web browser, you have some inf inf important information. You obviously don't want to use that uh, for transparent lock screen. But it matters uh, what type of business you do or what type of use you do use for the phone, which is cool. So for the sec sake of it, we're just going to go back to default wall wallpaper just for now. Um, you do have lock screen rotation, which is really nice. So you do have lock screen lo rotation. That's nice. Always nice feature. <laughs> um, you have clock widget. Um, one, one thing I do like, allow all widgets. You can have uh, any type of widget you have and allow unlimited widgets. So what, what I mean by that is if we do go back to our lock screen one more time or maybe a couple more times, is when you do add, you can add any type of uh, widget that you have from your um, uh, launcher. So uh, usually like Wi-Fi Tether would not be allowed to use on my lock screen because it's not compatible with it. But with this modification, you can use any type of lock or any type of widget on your lock screen, which is really nice and always a nice feature to use. But just keep in mind, it might not always work or might not fit just perfectly just because it's a modification to uh, your lock screen. It's not fully compatible with it. Just keep that in mind. Um, another thing I did like about that was... Where was it? Um, slide drive, do believe it was here? Nope, it was quick shortcuts right here. So in my case, I had a gallery, uh, clock, DSL controller, and messaging. All those are apps. So if we go here on lock screen, you can see all these short uh, shortcuts right there, which is really nice. So if we go ahead and tap on messaging, it'll bring me to my messaging app, which is a really nice feature. I really do like that. And if we go ahead and select um, clock, right? It'll go to my clock app. So it's a really nice feature. Uh, very quick, easy access to a uh, certain app if you do want to select it. And I like that feature. I haven't really seen it on a lot of other ROMs. So I like it. You know, it's sweet. And you do have other options, but we're not going to go through all of them just to, for the sake of the video time. So in ROM, sub it, uh, ROM settings, you have all these options that you've probably seen in a lot of other videos. Uh, general UI, uh, CTR screen off. That's the tube TV, you know, effect. Oops. <laughs> Hopefully that was clear enough. <laughs> uh, but you have all these other options. Uh, you can do LCD uh, density. Um, you can change. Let's go ahead and change it to TF9. And then you got TF9 right there. It should be. Um, I don't think it's showing up just because I don't have my SIM card in there. But it should have shown up. Um, it probably will once you do have your SIM card in there. Just keep that in mind. And you got transparency settings if you want. UI mode if you do like that. So you can change it to tablet. Let's go ahead and change that. So that is really nice. All right, so it gives you a nice, okay. So that's really nice. So it actually removes your status bar on the top and it gives you everything on the bottom like a tablet. So if you did ever own a, uh, um, a tablet, Android tablet, you'll get all these uh, options if you remember it's on the bottom of the side, uh, which is really nice. And it doesn't really require the full paranoid Android ROM. It just gives you part of the feature and you can do that. You can tap on it, fill screen if you want. Uh, so you can do that. You can go to your toggles or your notifications, which is really nice. I like that feature actually. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna leave it to that. I like that feature. Very nice. Let's go back, and let's go back. And you have Pi Control, which is sweet. Let's go and change that. If I can actually get it, I gotta change that um, target for my hand. 
Let's go home and try the pie control. There you go. So you got pie control right there. Probably seen a lot of the videos. Home uh, options or multitasking, back, search, and um, revert, I believe. Let's go back in settings. So you do have pie control. You can change the colors of it, the uh, option uh, keys if you would like to. Uh, you do have clock, uh, status bar if you want to customize that, the color of it, the battery um, style of it too. Navigation bars if you want to add more bars uh, to it. We can change this to um, screenshot if you like. So that's screenshot and sh uh, instead of multitasking. So you can do that if you want. Let's go back. And hopefully we won't need that multitasking for this video. <laughs> um, we have other options too, you know, power menu and all that if you'd like. So that's sweet. Uh, then you do have your all your usual display storage and all that too. And if you go down here, you do have about us, so that is different. Um, you do you sometimes get that. But what I like about this is performance. Probably one of my favorite features is you can go ahead and change the performance of your device. So let's go into processor. So okay, so if we actually go into uh, select power save for CPU governor, um, it will go actually really low. And um, once you're playing a game, if you're playing a high graphics game, it's gonna lag just because you're on power save. But if you're playing a really high graphics game, you want to select performance. So that's really nice. So you can go ahead and extend your battery life or uh, deplete your battery life, but get better performance. So you're um, selecting one or the other. Or you can just choose on demand, and it'll change it. Um, if you're using a lot of battery, if you're choosing, if you're uh, asking for a lot of um. Uh, processes and all that it'll go up and deplete your battery life or if you're not using a lot it'll go ahead and lower down your CPU and extend your battery life so it's always nice and I love CPU performance you know all the customization for your uh, kernels and all that I love that it's my favorite part of ROMs so that's about it that's a Xylon ROM for your next 4 device hopefully they enjoyed this ROM review and oh also one thing if you uh, notice this wallpaper might have been similar to my other video smart launcher app review video uh, this does come pre-installed with Smart Launcher if you don't want to use that. So it does come with Smart Launcher. I did actually do a full review on this. If you can go ahead and check it out, search on my channel. So if you don't want to use Smart Launcher, um, you can go ahead and use that um, if you would do like. But I prefer this instead. But Smart Launcher is very simple and easy to use um, for anyone, just about anyone. But thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And please just consider subscribing for more uh, ROM reviews, app reviews, game reviews, just about any review and anything and related I do upload on this video video for a lot of devices so please don't forget that subscribe button if you want to see more of these great android videos for your device and many other devices too um this buddy guys thanks for watching and uh peace oh link down below for the ram and connect with me through twitter facebook and google plus all links down below down below ram down below too so thanks for watching guys peace